The Life and Sad Ending of Dominique Dunn Dominique Ellen Dunn was born on November 23, 1959, in Santa Monica, California, the youngest child of Ellen Beatrice Linney, a ranching heiress, and Dominic Dunn, a writer, producer, and actor. She had two older brothers, Alexander Alex and Griffin Dunn, an actor. Her parents divorced in 1967. As a child, because her family moved to many places, Dunn attended Harvard Westlake School in Los Angeles, Taft School in Watertown, Connecticut, and Fountain Valley School in Fountain, Colorado. After graduation, she spent a year in Florence, Italy, where she learned Italian. She studied acting at Milton Catsella's workshop and appeared in various stage productions, including West Side Story, The Mousetrap, and My Three Angels. Dunn's first role was in the 1979 television film Diary of a Teenage Hitchhiker. She then got supporting roles in episodes of popular 1980s television series such as Lou Grant, Heart to Heart, and Fame. Dunn also had a recurring role in the comedy drama television series Breaking Away and appeared in several other television films. In 1981, she was cast in her first feature film, Poltergeist. Dunn portrayed Dana Freeling, the teenage daughter of a couple whose family is terrorized by malevolent ghosts. Produced by Steven Spielberg and directed by Toby Hooper, the film opened on June 4, 1982 and went on to gross more than a $70 million. This was her only theatrical film appearance before her death. After Poltergeist, she appeared in the final season premiere episode of Chips and the 1982 television film The Shadow Riders, starring Tom Selleck and Sam Elliott. Shortly before her death, Dunn was cast as Robin Maxwell in the series V. She died during filming and her role was recast with the actress Blair Tefkin. In her personal life, Dunn met John Thomas Sweeney, a sous chef at the restaurant Ma Maison, at a party in 1981. After a few weeks of dating, they moved into a one-bedroom house on Rangley Avenue in West Hollywood together. The relationship quickly deteriorated because of Sweeney's possessiveness and jealousy. The couple fought frequently and Sweeney began physically abusing Dunn. During one argument in August 1982, Sweeney plucked handfuls of Dunn's hair. She quickly fled to her mother's house where her boyfriend showed up and started to bang on the door. A few days later, the actress returned to him and continued their relationship. On September 26, 1982, Sweeney grabbed her by the throat and threw her on the floor. A friend, who was staying with them, reached the room where the two were fighting. Dunn told the friend that her boyfriend tried to strangle her, but Sweeney denied the claim. Somehow, she fled from his clutches and again went to her mother's place, where she stayed for some days. The actress finally decided to call it quits and broke her ties with Sweeney. On October 30th, 1982, a few weeks after her breakup with Sweeney, Dunn was at her residence rehearsing with actor David Packer for an upcoming miniseries. Sweeney reached her place and both started to talk outside on the porch while Packer stayed inside. They eventually began to argue. After some time, Packer heard two screams smacking sounds, and a thud. Packer left the house and approached the driveway where he saw Sweeney in the nearby bushes kneeling over Dunn. Packer called the police, and when they arrived, Sweeney stated that he had killed the actress and also claimed that he tried to kill himself as well. Dunn was hurriedly transported to the Cedars sinai Medical Center where she was placed on life support. Doctors performed brain scans over the following days, but the actress showed no brain activity. Sadly, on November 4, 1982, 
just 19 days before Dunn's 23rd birthday, her parents decided to remove her from life support. Her heart and kidneys were donated at the request of her mother. Dunn's funeral was held on November 6th at the Church of the Good Shepherd in Beverly Hills. Her godfather, Martin Manulis, delivered the eulogy. She was buried in Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery.